Yeah, guys, people here. Uh, today we're going to be looking at battleships and World of Warships legends. And just kind of talking about basic uh, strategy and gameplay with them and so on and so forth. Uh, so you do want to stick with your teammates in a uh, battleship. Um, you're going to have a hard time if you get isolated. Um, but uh, opening play, I'll kind of usually go towards like an island or something until... Uh, we spot target and then we'll get in a position. Uh, so a big part of playing battleships is the angling of the armor. Um, the goal is trying to get all the guns. You can see in the diagram in the center of the bottom screen there. When the guns are white that means they're pointed at the target and they're available. Uh, yellow guns either can't physically point at them because of some obstruction like a tower on your uh, see that back, second back gun there, it's kind of blocked by the tower. They often run into problems, especially in these American battleships with like the middle gun being obstructed. So the more horizontally, or the more you're presenting your broadside at the target, the more available you're going to make your guns. Um, but what I was kind of saying is ideally you want to have all your guns available and then just barely available, so you're kind of sloping your uh, ship towards them. Kind of a, you know, tends to be about a 45 degree angle, like you can see in the diagram there. And it's going to depend on what's going on situationally, obviously. Uh, for battleships, I'd probably recommend just loading AP rounds in them um, and stick with them. Um, as you get more familiar with the game, you can kind of play around a little bit, but. In general, against cruisers and battleships, um, the AP uh, is going to be the more effective round. Against destroyers, you're going to overpenetrate them every time, so it's going to be kind of uh, counterintuitive where you got these huge guns shooting this tiny ship and it's not going to do a lot of damage. There's nothing you can do about it. It's uh, I mean, if you know you're in a one-on-one -on -one situation, like let's say it's you and a destroyer are the last two ships on the map, you know, then go ahead and load HE to deal with it, and you'll wipe it out. But the problem is switching back and forth with ammo in a battleship. It takes a long time, and you want to keep the guns firing as often as possible. So cruisers, destroyers... Part of your duties are to counter the enemy destroyers so they're not attacking their battleships. Um, yeah, that's just. You can always play around with it, I guess, but my recommendation would just be load AP and then you're good to go for the rest of the match. Yeah, right, we're going to skip ahead here a little bit. Uh, so we captured the C point and did a little bit of sailing forward. So our team's basically got the east side of the map and they got the west and they're sitting on two of them or they got two points captured so uh, they have a fairly significant lead score wise because of that. Um, now I kind of push forward a little bit far here. Um, you don't want to get too isolated in a battleship. Um, that's kind of on me. Um, there's a fair amount of long distance shooting here. I think I'll, I'm going to try and make a video on how to lead targets and get it up with the next day or two. It's kind of tough to explain, but once you understand it, it's not that hard. You just got to kind of practice it. So you see that white bar that when I zoom in, it has two numbers under it that are kind of moving dynamically. You'll see when I pull it back up. But it's basically divided into three upright hashes on each side. You got one, two, three on each side of that center circle, right? So those represent five, ten, and fifteen. Now you see that number when I zoom in, it's like uh, 4.42 seconds or whatever right there. It's usually around, usually goes up to about eight or so. But basically what that's the seconds to the target where you're aiming in terms of how long it would take the shot to get there, right? So let's say that number says five seconds, 5S. Five All right, now for a battleship that's traveling horizontally at full speed, 
you would line up where you want. See, what I'm doing it right there. It's basically five, and I'm kind of lining up to get those first set of smokestacks. You can see that shot basically went exactly where I'm lining up at that first hash mark. Because it's right about five, based on the speed this guy's going, okay? If the number said 10, I would move it over to the second hash mark and line up for that. You know, but we're basically hitting that first hash mark, and that's because that number says roughly 5. Okay, that's the principle. So for battleships that are moving sideways, you know, it takes in a lot of different factors, but it's you roughly take the number, the seconds number, that left hand number, and apply that to the hash mark. So again, it's 5, 10, 15, uh, represented by those upright bars coming out of the line. Uh, for cruisers, you want to multiply that number by 1.5. So let's say it said 5 seconds. You would change that to 7.5 in your mind, which would be the halfway point between the first and second upright hash. All right, so that's how far you want to lead your target. So again, you'll figure out where you're on the ship you want to shoot at, and if it was Again, 5 against a cruiser, you'd go to that 7.5 distance, halfway between the first and second hash, line it up with, like, let's say, the turret or whatever. And we're trying to get citadels. Uh, citadels, I'll probably do another video on those, too. There's a lot of, <laughs> a lot of topics that kind of need some more in-depth look. But citadels are basically the area under smokestacks, under turret, gun turrets, like, think engine room um, and like magazine ammo storage area so they tend to be situa situated below the water line under important parts of the ship so if you have the luxury of aiming on these ships like you'll want to shoot at the smokestack at the turrets or below them at the water line basically it's kind of how you want to aim and again, I'll, I'll do another video that's more in-depth on the aiming, because it is a little complex. Um, but that's just a rough, rough sketch that, if you got to watch it back a couple times, um, the information's there. I just don't know if I presented it very well. Uh, so getting back to this match, uh, these guys, we kind of fended off the guy that was fighting back at us. Looks like someone's shooting at us now, but these guys are mostly dealing with the guys to the north here. Um, so, we're not putting about 75k damage in once we got into this western half of the map skirmish. And again, I'm trying to go for citadels. I mean, they're obviously hard to hit, but that's, that's what you want to shoot for. Um, consumables we better talk about. You have your repairs, um, and then your the second one's like a heal. You get two or three of those usually. Um, the repair I just want to point out for like let's say you get set on fire, a lot of people immediately hit the repair. You want to assess your situation. Like let's say a cruiser hits you long range, sets you on fire. If you put that fire out right away and then a destroyer comes and hits you with the torpedo and you're flooded, then you're gonna have a long time till you can. Re until you can uh, repair that flood, so that's a major problem. So just you're gonna want to repair your ship when it's damaged, but you know just try and mentally think through it quickly. Is this the best time to use this? Um, anything else? Oh, I think I forgot to mention how I got this ship. This is part of the rewards for the Alpha testers. We got this Texas. It's called Texas Alpha, and then there's a. Uh, tier 3 German destroyer actually so there are a handful of players that have German destroyers right now which are interesting they got a forward firing uh, torpedo turret so I'll make a video of that once I'm kind of done with the introductory videos here but hopefully that gave you a pretty good overview of battleships there's a lot of information to cover so I probably forgot some stuff I was thinking of presenting but uh, if you have any questions Please leave them below in the comments section, or if you have any comments in general, tips of your own, leave them below there so we can all check them out. Yeah, once we finish this guy, we kind of cap out, and then we actually barely win by score. Uh, we run out of time in the match, but um, capping out and killing this guy kind of put us over by like a couple points, so it was a pretty good finish. So if you like the video, 
please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We're going to have a lot of more uh, World of Warships content coming up here. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, again, if you have anything to say on battleships or any questions, put them in the comments section. And we'll see you guys all later. Alright, peace.